I've noticed nine times out of 10, it's actually my either insecurity or pride or something wrong in me that doesn't like that, not her. What's up, guys? Welcome to another 5-Minute Fatherhood. So when you hear a little insight, maybe, from one of these podcasts or another podcast or book you're reading or something you read in Scripture, you're like, oh, I want my family to do this. How do you engage your wife? Do you run home and say, honey, let's do this. I decided that we're going to do X from now on. (laughs) Um, Is that the right way? When she hasn't had any time to really come up to speed with what you're thinking about, what you're dreaming about. And I had a friend that um, after seeing uh, dads, and again, this is kind of a good problem to have, right? That you know, you're know you thinking of intentionality, you want to lead your family, but there's a problem with that particular approach. Um, and the way that he described it was, when you're engaging your wife, it can't sound like a decision, it needs to begin a journey. And I was like, ooh, that's really important to hear. I think oftentimes I have done this where I get excited about an idea. I'm like, sweet, like let's get my family on board. Um, this happened recently with a new gathering that we wanted to start. And you know, I, I got really excited about it. Um, but, but April was like, oh, I'm not sure we're ready for that. And we went through literally about a two to three month journey to launch this thing because I wanted to make sure that she was 100% comfortable and on board. But man, five, 10 years ago, it would have been, it felt like a decision came out of left field. Um, and that that is not super healthy. And so I love that uh, my friend Justin has been really teaching guys to, to think about this as a process and not just a decision that you have to make uh, because our wives need to kind of, they, they've got a lot to add to whatever uh, this sort of difference or change might might be but they also need to have they need to be completely bought in you need to you need to be leading your family as a team and that means that you're not a tyrant that you didn't just come up with an idea and you're going to enforce it the next the next minute but yeah Jeff how have you guys worked through this one yeah, this has been a fun growing pain for us because I'm very I'm, I just move really fast so I can then decisions then can come really fast and so yeah the way we've learned is exactly kind of what you said is <clears throat> excuse me is you have to um like I, I come earlier, not come late now, right? Like I'm gonna come, I'm gonna come earlier to her now in the process, not come when it's once I've already thought through it all, because that just never mm-hmm. goes well. I, I used to do it where I thought it was helping her by me thinking through all the peculiarities, all the intricacies, so I didn't burden her with that, and then I would just come with kind of the finish line of, hey, we're gonna do this. I've thought through everything. Can you just sign off on it? And that never went well, right? Because she would also then have all the questions that I already processed, and then I would be really short because I'm like, oh, I already thought about that. Already thought about that. Already thought about that. Like we're good. She's like, well, then <laughs> why are you asking me? Like it's just kind of like it goes right. in this weird circle, right? And so I've learned that yeah, I have to. The minute I have a thought, I actually want to process with her now. And like you said, mm. it's invaluable to do so. I was leading us down a bad path whenever I made singular, more singular decisions because uh, we're a team. And so if we're a team, then that means we want to absolutely leverage the assets of all the teammates. And I have some huge gaps and weaknesses that she covers. And so that's what I would say. And the one thing I would say too, that I learned through it and I'm still learning is almost nine times out of 10, if there's a frustration here, meaning like if I come home with a gung ho idea and she puts on the brakes, or if I have an idea and she just disagrees with it, all these different ways that this can play out. I've noticed nine times out of 10, it's actually my either insecurity or pride or something wrong in me that doesn't like that, not her right? Like there's something Mm, in me that like, I either don't like being questioned that much. I don't like having to take the time to explain myself. I'm not patient. Like there's so many, it's very revealing to me on areas that I need to round out my growth. And so I would say really push them to that rather than say that maybe your wife might be um, the impediment to it. Cause that's a really easy game that every marriage can play that just goes in a bad, bad cycle. So I would say, let it go inward on when that happens and welcome the value of your wife as a teammate that helps beyond belief on something like this.